sorry. Yeah. You're the one native Philadelphians. Uh, I am, yeah. And uh, how in the early conversations did you get them to come into Philly? How many what? In the early conversations of the show, how did you get to say, hey, you got Philly? Well, actually, um, originally we were going to, you mean for shooting? Yes, yeah, well, for shooting or you did basing the, the, the series? Well, we knew that we wanted to, to, to put it in, a, in an East Coast city and give people, uh, to give the characters a job in which they could have their days free. So we thought, you know, we wanted sort of that underdog mentality that we feel like it's made a lot of sense. Okay. So, you're so involved in so many aspects of the show. Which is your favorite part? Um, I would probably say the, the shooting, just because uh, it's a lot of fun to actually interact with other actors. So I love to shoot on locations and come out to, because we're used to shooting on a set all day long on the stage. We don't have really any feedback because it's just not the group. So to come out and be able to meet all the people that watch the show and, and to see how much support we have in the city is, uh, is really great. What point did you decide it was time to start looking like a South Philly guy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it happened, you know, last year I was watching I was watching uh, a sitcom and noticing that the actors were getting better looking as the years were going by <laughs> and the men were becoming more handsome because they were getting richer and they had enough money to buy better clothes and personal trainers and they got tan and they got new teeth. And I thought, yeah. I would like to try to see what the opposite of that would be. <laughs> Simply because Sonny is the opposite of most sitcoms and yeah. we try to do the opposite of the traditional, what, what we're used to seeing on network television. So I thought, instead of having the character getting better looking, literally deconstructing the character and to try to look as, not only as heavy as possible, but also I grew a disgusting beard and I've been staying out of the sun, so I'm really pale and just literally trying to look as terrible as possible. <laughs> it's been liberating in a lot. <laughs> Is Caitlin real happy with the new look? Uh, she appreciates the... the she appreciates the, 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 the humor in it, but she does not appreciate the, the uh, sex appeal. <laughs> And is there anything you can credit for uh, helping or meat with the cheese steaks? Uh, actually, I, I've been working with a nutritionist, um, and he's been, got me on a, 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 a diet of 5,000 calories a day. Wow. Yeah. Sweet. Which is a lot. That is good. Any favorite foods? Um, I would say, honestly, my favorite is, has been the donuts. <laughs> they have a tremendous amount of donuts. Because, like, the, the nutritionist, we were trying to do it healthy, so I could have you know, two or three chicken breasts and, you know, like four cups of vegetables to get a thousand calories, we'll say. Or I could just eat one donut. And sometimes <laughs> I'd be like, I can't muscle down that. <laughs> so, that became How difficult is it to keep the story so fresh year after year? It's been, you know, a while. It's, it's a lot of work, you know. Yeah. And that's what we spend the most amount of time on. So we'll, we'll shoot really only for about two and a half months. And we'll edit for about two and a half months. We'll write for about five and a half months. Because that's starting from scratch. How do you come up with all those crazy antics? You know, just like just like anybody com comes up with the work that they do. You know, we sit in a room. And sometimes it comes easy, and sometimes it's difficult. But it's some of it's from personal experience. Some of it's from just opening up the newspaper and, and seeing what's happening in the world. And some of it's just like making a joke and somebody saying, "Hey, I want to do an episode." About that. Oftentimes, too, we'll say to ourselves, "You know, what's." What's not being done on television? Let's we'll see if we can explore that area. One thing I, I like about the show is, I mean, you, you, there is no holds barred, but you don't do anything blatantly, I'll say, sexual or, uh -huh. or whatever. Is that a conscious decision? You have a girl in a bikini, it looks hot or whatever, but you don't really, you could stretch that further and you don't. There's a, there's a line physically that you yeah. all seem to draw with that. Yeah, I mean, hopefully what comes across is that we're not doing anything we're not doing anything shocking for shock value's sake. That we're we're just trying to look at different areas of, of American culture that aren't explored in the traditional sitcom. And sometimes they just happen to be base, but but that's not our goal. We're not attempting to be vulgar. We're just attempting to do something that, that they're not doing on NBC. And yet, when you walk into any bar in any city in the United States, people are talking about it. So how can we... To me, it's hypocritical to say, well, that's that's fine for real life, but on TV, here's everybody hugs each other at the end of every episode. We thought, that's not true to life, that's bullshit, and that's not what we're going to do. <laughs> do you have a uh, favorite story so far from this season? Wow. Um, 
we do an episode this year, well, we do a high school reunion episode where we go back to high school and see all of the characters that we grew up with, <laughs> which is an amazing episode. But I, I think maybe my favorite has been, uh, we put on a, a kid's pageant, a child, a child's pageant, like Toddlers yeah. and Tierras. That was an amazing experience. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> that was a great thing to mock. I mean, yeah. that, that needed it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but what we found was, much like a lot of our episodes on Sunny, is that we thought it was going to be all about like making fun of that industry and making fun of those kids and making fun of those mothers and then we had the actors come who a lot of them were pageant kids and they could not have been more professional more gracious sweet fun the parents were great and we realized wow like these are really cool and fun people who just happen to be in a very bizarre <laughs> industry has having the baby been different with shooting and and Change how you're writing or anything? No, it hasn't changed that, but but certainly from a scheduling standpoint, it's been it's been very yeah. difficult. You know? um, it's so difficult, not from writing, but production, because because Caitlin's on set all day mm -hmm. for 12, 13 hours. We have to bring the baby, obviously, and it just um, you know it's great that I work in I work get to work with my wife because I get to see my my baby all all day long, whereas a lot of people don't get that luxury. So right, it's pretty great. Excellent. I know you've done a lot of work on the on the big screens. How difficult or easy was it for you to adapt to the small screen? Um, well, it wasn't even a question of ease. It was a question of um, simply having to. Like we knew that Sunny, when we, when we first wrote it, wasn't a full-length feature film. It was going to be more short film. Uh, and so we thought, well, instead of short films, why not just make it television? So we never really thought about it in terms of, well, how how can we write this as a television show? But to us, it was always about writing a series of short films. And hopefully that comes through because each episode is non-linear, so you can pick it up. If you've never seen the show, you can watch the sixth episode of the seventh season or the third episode of the second season and still get what's happening. Because the characters never grow, never learn anything, they never change. That's my favorite part of this show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is something. You, you can leave an episode. We, we don't have to know. It doesn't need to be tied up for us or wrapped exactly. up. We, yeah. We know that tomorrow's another day. Yeah. Right. Now, I think that we can still have, like, sort of sweet moments here and there, but ultimately, you're never really going to see a very special episode. Of <laughs> you made Kate cry. The show made Kate cry. Oh, yeah? Um, the, um... The baby? No, not the that baby. Was, that was a big one for people. <laughs> <laughs> I can't... It was the one where the waitress... Bang Frank and Charlie start crying. I cried every time. That's I just tried to grow immune to it, like by watching it just every time. Like, oh my god. That's sweet. Well, you'll, then you're gonna ball. You? <laughs> We've got something. We're gonna take a trip down to the Jersey Shore and uh, <laughs> very specific uh, romance. Then. Uh, how did you get FX to, to say yes to the show? We shot it uh -huh. before, so we we shot two episodes of it before we took it anywhere, and. Um, and we had a, a few offers from a few different networks, and they they were by far the um, clear choice because they got the show very clearly. I think one of my favorite episodes was the one with the pool. Uh -huh. It was just so ridiculous. Yeah. That it, I mean, I just laughed from 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 start to finish. Good. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, that's an example of an episode that we wanted to do. Um, where the pool had very little to do with it. We wanted to do an episode about class, specifically class in Philadelphia. And I remember growing up, telling the, some of the writers, some of them who, who grew up wealthy and some of them didn't, but from different parts of the country. And I said, when I was a kid, we used to swim in the fountains. Literally, like we would go to the fountains and swim in it. And they were talking about how white trash that was. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, we and, like, opening, and opening the, uh, the, hot, the fire hydrant. Yeah, oh, and the By fire By the way, hydrant. I'm a fellow Philadelphia. Fire fire <laughs> yeah, and we had a fire hydrant, fire plug is what we used to call it, and right. opened them up like, right around the corner of our house. And they were saying how like low class that is, and how they belong to this country club. And I thought, well, if I had an opportunity to belong to the country club, I would I would have too, but <laughs> we, had to, we had to do what we had to do. Right. And, um, and so we thought, well, that would be an interesting thing to, to discuss in an episode. And then we then from there it progressed to us actually getting caught in the pool. Not getting <laughs> <laughs>